the E Flight P47 with ordnance on. Just absolutely gorgeous. So, what I want to talk about a bit is the CG. So the CG by the book is 65 plus or minus 3 millimeters by the book. So I don't even know why I took the cover off. But I got a 2200. If you can see in there, if you're trying to use it for reference for your plane, I don't even have it strapped down because I'm probably not going to fly it. But I'm way past that Velcro pushed as far forward as it, is, can, as it can go inside there to the, the motor mount. You know, the back of the motor mount. So I'm gonna close that up. I just that's the only reason why I really wanted to show that was because show you I'm far forward as I can go. And 65 is about two and two and a half inches, right? So I don't have my normal measuring tape. But if you could look down on that, that is my my CG mark right there. You see that little silver on silver? I just do these little subtle things as to not be completely man can you even see it that's how subtle it is but anyway on this side you can see it better so you see that perfect little circle sticker that's my cg mark right there so i'm gonna come with my tape measure and i'm gonna get right on that cg mark and if i can show you it's hard to show you but from overhead i'm about overhead right now i'm right at about an inch and a half like it's i'm, I'm sorry two and a half inches like it should be so plus or minus three millimeters which this dot can be kind of variable i'll hold my finger to the edge of it and to the back of it but what i wanted to show is with that 2200 4s yeah with the 2200 4s and i get right on my marks i am tail heavy like crazy tail heavy till it's falling uncontrollably. Let me turn off the safe mode so I can stop the zipping. So if I even if I go to the back of the mark where I'm not even on the the uh, the, plant, the paper sticker anymore, and I just get it centered, it's still tail heavy. So due to my skill level and being a brand new bird, I'm terrified of that. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna go with 3200 just to put more nose weight in. And this precaution is probably not a big deal because right now I have the exact same birds, but of course it's the older version. I prefer to fly crashed birds. So I got it off somebody really cheap. I, uh, you know, didn't do much to it. Basically, I didn't try to pretty it up at all, but it had landing gear that worked. Everything worked, so I flew it. I've been flying that thing on all the time on a 2200 4S without any issues and then the weight of the CG is fine. What I noticed on a hard landing though, I nosed over one time and kind of this was a little open. There's a big weight in the center in the front of that bird, probably about right here. So right in this area. Make sure I'm pointing in a good direction. Yeah you can see me. So right about here was a huge weight inside the nose of the bird which i don't want to break this one open to find out if it's in there it's too beautiful i don't get many brand new birds this is a, a big deal for me so i am a bit terrified of it being that far off cg so i'm gonna try this 3200 4s 100 c pack from spectrum telemetry and all of the jobs the bells and whistles i'm gonna go ahead and check my uh my cg that is still tail heavy at the at the mark and if i go a little bit rear to like three millimeter it's, it's, it's still tail heavy but less than it was um with the 2200 i started adding weight to it to try to compensate for it and i took a bunch of these stick on weights and i didn't stick them on i just kind of set them there just to see if inside the velcro just to see if it would do it it, it wasn't it wasn't balancing well even with a lot of weight on the nose so I mean, I guess eventually it will be nose heavy if you keep going with that. I think I might just give it a try, even though it's slightly tail heavy like this, still give it a try and see where I end up with it. If it feels tail heavy, I feel like I can throw it in safe and, and, and get it back um, down, hopefully, without much issue. 
Uh, and if not, I know that I need to, you know, go back to the drawing board. It's not impossible that I crashed this on the first flight. I, I crashed. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm brand new to this stuff. I'm not like these other guys. I'm not that perfect pilot. Um, safe mode is my friend. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's basically my rant about the CG because it's a bird with a CG out of the box and a recommended battery. And I just thought it was odd that it would be that tail heavy. And I basically showed you. I put a 2200 in there. I stuck it far forward as it went, as it could go. I strapped it down. I flipped it over. CG is way off. It's super duper tail heavy. So I don't know what's the deal with that. I haven't heard. I did hear someone else in a video mention something to the effect, but they didn't cover it much. They just said, you're going to have to add weight to it. Uh, which they didn't like to do and, and of course nobody wants to add weight to an aircraft but I mean if you got to in a situation you got to so I do like flying 2200s above the 3200 3, I think the five minutes of flight time I get on the identical bird that I have is is sufficient for me I'm, I'm, I'm accustomed to that five minutes and uh, I'm good with that so I want to fly the 2200 so of course I'm going to be investigating that as, as quickly as possible and, and figure out how to how to deal with it on that you know situation uh, but while it's still pretty, I just wanted to give you a few looks at it and, you know, a little bit of video to cover what I was dealing with on the CG. Uh, I suppose the next thing I'll get to would be trying to do a taxi and take off and then hopefully not crash for you guys. But I know people like crashes, so I don't know. It is what it is, I guess, but I don't want to crash because I've never had something, you know, a bird this this pretty and nice, no no defects. It does have a few little defects from the factory, like there's something going on here, right in the wheel well, where the, where the wheel, you know, you can see the wheel right beneath it, right there by the wheel. Um, it's like a little dimpling right there. You can see a little bit. And then right, of course, same place, wheel well. You see kind of like a little rough bubble in there. So just to try to show things that, you know, like I know, people i wanted to know this type of stuff so I, I i think i might do people a service to to show them the things that they're not always seeing uh and of course fly with the ordinance to me is a, it's like the most awesome thing you can do is fly with the ordinance so i definitely want to try to do that and, and in some cases it actually aids you to slow aircraft down but like i say i have the exact same bird i'm so familiar with the way it takeoffs and lands I'm terrible at taking off, which you will see, but I feel like I can uh, get it up, even if I have to jank it up and, you know, just give it power to get off the ground if it's going too far left. That's the problem with this thing, and the, the other the other one I have is it, it, it wants to go left, and uh, I've tried easing in, I've tried, you know, I'd never have a great takeoff, but let's see what I do. Now, touch and goes, that's not so bad because you're on the mains, you can kind of, I can make that look decent, but takeoffs, I'm usually pretty bad, so <laughs> thanks. Uh, hopefully the flight will be coming up now I finally decided to do I am terrified to fly it like this but I'm gonna go ahead and try it I've, I've seen another video where somebody said they use 80 millimeters for the CG I'll see and I'll check my other bird and see where that one was for that one by the old manual but like I see it balances good with a 2200 um, and flies perfect like that never seems still heavy at all so I pushed this 3200 all the way forward to give me a little extra weight. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. Put this down so it can actually arm. All right, we got my four cell countdown. Everything seems good. Get centered on this. See if you can see that, can you see that? Yep. I got some help today, so it'd be a little better on the video, perhaps, on as far as what you could see. Let me brighten this up a little bit. Hang on. Uh, where is it? There it is. Turn the brightness all the way up. That should be a little better. Definitely. All right, so I'm on my uh, battery pack showing 90. I don't know why it's so low, but anyway, it's a brand new battery. First time GM being charged. Oh, let's see if I can go to battery. There we go. Uh, uh, let's look for single cells. There we go. So we got 4.14 all the way down. Um, so that's good there. Uh, if you want to see, this is where you do the uh, the programming. I'm not. It's already done, but you know, just in case I need to cover that later. That's the, the last screen, the Avion Prog. 
So from this point, I'm gonna just go back to this screen where I got this little status bar, and uh, I'm gonna press and hold that, and uh, what I want that to say. So by pressing and holding, that tells it what it, what I want. Then I'm gonna go to um, scroll down, uh, battery one percentage, lowest cell. Oh, lowest cell. That's what I want. I'm gonna hit apply. So now it comes up with that cell voltage right there. So that's what, I know that's what I got on the lowest cell. I can kind of peek down at the battery and see this 90% and I can see that. So get one last look at the Kansas before I, P47 before I, you know, hopefully this isn't a crash folks. All right, checking my control surfaces. Everything looks good. Do a throttle test. She seems rare to go. Throttle cut on. Do I have the jitters on? It's on. All right, uh, I got the jitters a little bit because I haven't flown this before and it's brand new and I, I normally fly crash birds so I don't have these jitters. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm lined up on the right side of the runway. Anybody who's flown one of these knows that it's gonna pull left. So hopefully when it pulls left, it'll go over the, 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 the that way and won't cause anything. I'll probably just jake the throttle because I'm not that familiar with it. They might be tail heavy, but yada, yada, yada. Anyway, without further talking, let, let's go ahead and do it. All right, it janked to the right, like left, like I thought it would. It seems to be flying pretty good. It doesn't feel tail heavy at all. Oh, that's smooth. I'm going into the, passing by the sun on these passes all right i'm gonna try and put some flaps down yeah she wants to climb i gotta put a little elevator on that because it's definitely climbing by itself quite a bit i'm gonna have to adjust that in the uh radio so it doesn't climb so bad turn it off Half flaps. Yeah, feels pretty good. It still climbs quite a bit on half flaps. But uh, let me see what I can do as far as a landing uh -oh. or crash, whatever way you want to refer to it. Well, there you go. That was supposed to be reverse <laughs> thrust, but for some reason it went forward flight. I gotta go back and show the. That's a badass my dude. All right, I don't know how much voltage I got left. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah, it's showing really low voltage. But I don't think that's right. Yeah, 388 cell. So I did a couple of passes around. Uh, have to get used to this bird for sure. But safe off. It seems like it's pretty good. I don't need to do too much trimming. Upside down looks good. Yep. So, since I have still a little bit of jitter and <laughs> not familiar with the bird, I'm going to go ahead and put it in half flaps. See if I can get it down. I don't know what happened on that first landing, so that definitely angered me. I'm going to go ahead and try to get it in. Whoa, what happened there? I have the reverse throttle set up, but then I also have another setting where it goes full reverse. And what we saw earlier was it squatting down from hitting that reverse at a full 100%. So what I need to do is I need to either 
I'm gonna back that down. Or either that I could go uh, one click, what would be controllable reverse, which is this. Oh, Lord, I lost my prop. <laughs> I probably should have tightened that down a lot more when it comes to after a landing. But uh, that was a pretty good first yeah. flight. I didn't uh, crash and break the wings off in 10,000 pieces or anything. So this is a good outcome. So when I landed my first flight, um, I tried. I was coming perfectly straight down the runway. And I decided I wanted to try out my new reverse thrust. Well, I had it set to 100%, and that proved to be way too much. It made the aircraft do something crazy. So I backed that down to 20%, and I really feel like I don't need to use it at all because I could use this second position, which is controllable by the by the uh, the throttle itself. So um, I think I'm going to go with that route. But just so I can show you everything I did, I did do that at 20%. Now I'm going to uh, try another flight with my flap system. So right now I changed it from flap position one going to be 10% elevator down and position two going to be 20% elevator down. So I'll try it out on the next flight and see how it flies and see if that's enough. And then I'll let you guys know or maybe update this video. <laughs> Got that dip right there. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, don't Get do close it. To the edge, I don't want to break a prop. So the, the the wind is completely cross right now, um, but it's it's at least low wind, so it's manageable. All right, I'm gonna take it up with a 2200 4S 50C smart battery. It's at four point something a cell because I did uh do some testing and stuff trying to get things set up so I don't know if it's tail heavy or not but we shall see Gear up. it flies good 2200 like I've been doing so I guess uh, the, the CG from the factory must be a little bit different than what they they state All right, it seems like it's climbing a little bit. So that's probably something that's affecting my uh, flap action also. Yeah. Maybe pulling a little bit to the right, but not bad. I think that's where I need to be for that. And let's see if I can try my flaps out now that I got it adjusted. It just flies so perfect off safe mode that you could almost forget. And I am a safe lover. All right, flaps down. Take off flaps. Oh, still going way up high. So I gotta adjust that some more. Landing flaps. That's twenty percent. So yeah, that's, that's fine, almost decent, but it's still climbing. I'm gonna go 25 on that, and uh, probably 15 on the uh, takeoff. It's actually kind of hard to get it down. It's got so much up, <laughs> <laughs> it's wanting to go up. All right, see if I can land without crashing something. Now that's better. That's the way the reverse thrust should have worked the first time if I wouldn't have had it maxed out like a noob. All right, I think uh, I got plenty of juice left, which is odd because it's telling me 3.6, which shouldn't be that low. Let's go ahead and pause it now. Uh... All right, I adjusted my flaps again. I'm at 25% and 15%, so position two is at 25. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. My battery was at zero or something crazy. Now it bumped up to 3. Uh, 9, 4, 60 percent. I'm gonna try this like this and just to try to flaps and come in and land again. A little bit better landing. If I, I learn how to feather that, I'll probably have some great landings, but that's what you got to do. So that was a 
All right, flaps down. It climbed some, but it didn't do a terrible thing there. All right, landing. Because the bugs are all in my face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the flaps feel much better there. I could probably give them a little bit more of a bump, but I'm happy with that. I'll probably fly it like that a little bit, and if I decide after a few flights, because it's still pretty new to me, I'll right. adjust it again. I got the reverse thrust kind of dialed in now where I can hit it to that third position, and it and it, it goes at a decent reverse level without squatting the aircraft down or something weird. I got my controllable reverse thrust where I can, I can hit that, and then I can go forward. And uh, woo, come off the ground with the tail if I want to. So, all in all, good day. I got a little chip in the front, which is a disgust, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with it.